Whether it's the result of getting data from online or typing errors, there are many reasons why cells in Excel can end up with extra spaces in them. And these can make the sheet look messy and keep you from correctly using some of Excel's tools and features. So let's go over three ways that you can clean up extra spaces in Excel. In the first example, we have a list of email addresses with extra spaces both before and after the address. The trim function is perfect for this. Its job is to remove any spaces from the beginning and end of a cell. So we can type equals trim and reference the cell that we want to clean up and press enter. And then you can either use copy and paste to copy it down or double click on this little bitty square here to autofill to the other cells. Or another thing you can do when you have a list of cells like this that you want to apply trim to is reference the entire range that you want to apply the formula to and then press enter. Just keep in mind that doing this will group the results and that's what this blue line symbolizes around all of our results. This means that they can be edited or deleted without causing an error to the other results in the group. So just keep this in mind. But for this example, I'm not too worried because I'm actually going to copy the results and then paste them as values over the originals. And then I'm going to delete these. In this next example, we again have a list with spaces before and after the words, but each also contains a paragraph break or a line break, which we also need to get rid of. And we can tell these have a line break by testing them with the wrap text option. So text will only wrap if either one, the cell is not big enough to fit all the contents, or two, the contents contain a line break. So if our column is big enough to fit all the words, which it is, and we click on wrap text, and our words still wrap, then it means that they contain a line break. So to clean this up, we're going to use the trim function again, but this time we're going to combine it with the clean function. So clean removes 32 different types of invisible, non-printable characters from cells. And the most common of these is probably the line break like we have here. But you can also get some of these non-printable characters if your data has any weird coding, like if you copied it from a website. So to clean up both the extra spaces and the line breaks, we'll type trim, then in parentheses clean, and then add another parentheses, then select either your cell or like I'm doing here, the entire range and close your two parentheses and press enter. And like before, our results are grouped, but again, I'm just going to copy them and paste them over the originals as values, delete these, and now notice the extra spaces are gone. And if I click on wrap text, nothing happens. So our line breaks are also gone. The third example has a longer text and paragraph formatting that we want to keep. So here, what I actually want to fix is the use of spaces after the period. So it's now the norm to type only one space after the final punctuation. But a lot of people were taught and got used to always typing two spaces at the end of each sentence. And also a couple of words have too many spaces between them. So to fix this, I'm going to use find and replace. Pressing Control H on my keyboard, I'm going to find two spaces and then replace with one space and click on replace all. Now keep in mind that depending on your document, you'll need to be thoughtful about what you're replacing with what. You don't want to make a change to something that should be left as is. So make sure to plan your find and replaces accordingly. So I'm going to repeat this to finish fixing the words that had three spaces between them. For more tutorials like this, click on these links. Thanks.